Hey folks, uh, AJ here. I want to make a video on changing the air switch on your Jacuzzi Whirlpool bath pump. Okay, uh, first things first, we highly recommend removing the Whirlpool pump from the tub uh, to make it nice and safe and easy for you to uh, make sure your electric connections are safe and secure back inside that control box. Uh, unless you have extreme, extreme easy access, uh, we really recommend pulling that out. It's really going to make an easy job for you. So when you pull the uh, Whirlpool pump out, uh, on the bottom is uh, three 7 16 nuts uh, on the back flanges and the side. All right, loosen those guys up. Uh, there's going to be a bonding wire. You're going to disconnect the bonding wire. Uh, get yourself a pair of big channel locks to uh, take the lock nut off here from your union. Okay, disconnect that union. Of course, you'll unplug the pump from the outlet, okay? And then on the back side is the air tubing will be connected to where the air switch is, which is the item we're going to be replacing now. So uh, a lot of the jacuzzi ones, um, the air switches, they use this furl to kind of retain and hold the air tubing in place. This was done uh, primarily for uh, shipping safety purposes. Uh, when the tub gets made in the factory and then shipped and then installed by the plumbers in your house, uh, a lot of times this tubing would come loose or dislodged in that process. So they came up with this ferrule portion to help retain it in there. Uh, it's not needed. Uh, the switches that we're selling these days as a, replace, as a replacement do not have it. You do not need it. It's not that big of a deal. But yeah, it certainly helped in the shipping and the frustration factor of that. So anyway, when you're disconnecting the pump from your tub, make sure you disconnect that, that nut, loosen up that nut, and pull the air tubing off there. Okay, so once we get the tub, the pump motor out of the tub, and you got it in a nice working situation like we do have here on a workbench, um, we're going to need to gain access to the air switch, which is inside this control box. Now, we're demonstrating on the current version jacuzzi pump, that's in production today. Uh, you may have an older style pump that may have a slightly different type style box. Uh, that's not a big deal. Most importantly, we gotta get whatever kind of screws that are on the box loosened up and off. So uh, for this purpose, uh, this pump has two screws that hold the uh, control box onto the motor mount. And uh, one is located up here right front and center as you can see. We'll get that all the way loosened up and out of the way. And on the total opposite end on the other side is the other one. Let me flip this over so you guys can see. And uh, I'm just using a slotted screwdriver to loosen up these screws. Uh, it's also a quarter inch hex head. So if you had a quarter inch nut driver, um, that would be an easy tool to use as well. So get those screws off and um, that comes off just like that. Okay. You can see how easy it is once you're uh, got it in a good working environment right in front of you like we do here. So, okay, two screws are off the control box. I'll get this guy back on its side so you guys can see and how easy it is to uh, get this air switch apart. Once you've got the furl off the back of the air switch, there's another mounting lock nut which you can loosen up with either your fingers if it's still tight. Get a pair of pliers on that, take that lock nut off, okay. And the cover comes right off, okay? And there's our air switch, okay? The hot comes right in there, interrupts it just like any other switch on a wall in your house. Uh, I'm going to use a pair of needle nose pliers and just gently pull off the terminals off the old air switch, okay? The new air switch that we sell is, uh, is made by Techmark. It is by far the best air switch on the market today. Okay, Techmark is the authority when it comes to pneumatic air switch components. So uh, it's going to install the same way. Slide those terminals right on the new switch. Okay, so now we got to get this new air switch lined up with the hole that's on the back of the, uh, the control box there. Okay, so in one easy way to do it is uh, to use your air tubing. Every one of our air switches comes with a brand new 10 foot length of new vinyl tubing for free okay and what I did is I cut a, about a foot off and I'm going to use it as a as a guide and go right through the hole and be able to pull it into place where we need it to be okay and once I get it into place I'm going to maintain tension here and slide the new lock nut over the air tubing keep tension on that air tubing and then thread in 
the new lock nut so it stays in place just like that. Get those threads squared up. And back on just like that. Make sure you get it nice and tight. Okay. If you don't, it's going to vibrate when the pump comes on and make a nasty noise and you don't want that. Okay. Take the air tubing back off. Now you're good to go. You got to mount your housing back on the cover there. All right. Just for demonstration purposes, I'm only going to put the one screw in right now. Okay. To save time, get that housing back on. Make sure you put both screws on nice and tight and safe. Okay. We'll put that back on, and then I'm just going to show you one more thing here on the back end of the air switch. Once we get we're tightened up here. Okay. Air tubing. Push it on nice and tight, okay? If the air tubing uh, is a little stiff or cold, maybe you place the order in the middle of winter, maybe you want to heat up the end of that air tubing with a hair dryer. Get it, nice and get it nice and soft. Push it on nice and tight. You don't need the lock nut, okay? It'll stay on by itself. Um, and then I'm gonna just do a quick test demonstration. All right, this is the bellows that Jacuzzi also sells. Uh, we have it on the website. It's inside the uh, panel control system of the jacuzzi tubs, okay. Basically, pushing that air bellows in is gonna activate a puff of air that activates the micro switch on that air switch, and you'll hear that clicking, okay. So we're clicking, we're in good business. It's working order right now. Uh, hope this uh, clarifies any questions you may have on your air switch and pneumatic system on your jacuzzi tub. Uh, if you've changed the air switch and it's still not working, look to change this bellows. Uh, we have it on the website as well. These are the only three components that are turning your pneumatic jacuzzi whirlpool pump on and off in your jacuzzi tub. So uh, this should get you back in hot water and up and running. Any questions beyond this video, feel free to give us a call. We are your jacuzzi parts authority.